The negotiations are nearly complete with attorneys working for both sides to finalize this agreement. It's important that they complete this deal soon in order to ensure that they can begin service this summer. While still holding back some of the details on the flight, airport director Brian Springer did tell me that the airport is working with the airline to establish direct service one day a week into the New York City area. The service would run both summer and winter seasons. While a federal grant of $950,000 will help fund the establishment of this service, the community, including Big Sky, also stepped up its efforts to raise funds, hoping to tap in to the gold mine that is New York. New York and the area um, of New York City has been one of our top destination markets in the last 15 years. They represent a lot of revenue and there are a lot of skiers in New York City and the area. So it's a, a very viable market for the ski product. And then, of course, in summer, the Conference Center and Yellowstone Park are another big draw for that market. Airport Director Brian Springer also mentioned to me that the airport is hoping that this total of $1.4 million will last two years in an effort to develop self-sustaining service from Bozeman to New York. In Bozeman, I'm Adam Bell from Montana's News Station.